Greetings everyone and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla with me comes it now um, We're gonna go to the hospice and try to learn Anything from the healers <gasps> This is basically Unval's father was recuperating here not long ago Someone may have seen him depart No doubt, but the only thing is my question is how back do I get out? Dumbasses. <laughs> oh, we got in. That's what matters. Speak with her. Are you the head sister here? Aye. And I'm not too comforted by the sight of you wielding weapons like a war chief. We're a hospice, not a barracks. It's bad enough I've got these armored cod pieces watching me work. Now you! No harm will come to you or those you care for. I'm only looking for your elderman. I'd be risking my neck telling you anything. And if my head rolls, these sick and ailing folk will follow me to the grave. Your elderman would agree. So the sooner I find him, the more quickly these prowling guards will leave your hospice. That's a pleasant thought. Our lord was in a bad way here, and getting worse. In spite of our efforts, then, quite against my instruction, some guards moved him out. I overheard them talking about a bathhouse. There's no working bathhouse in Lincoln. So, I gather they meant the old ruins just south of here, by the eastern walls. Ruins, just south of here. I'll look there. Thank you. I pray you find him. He's in desperate need of care. Eh? And why did you jump down there? Plus Mike's thingies instructions are different. Now oh fuck. Not the idiot now. God won't let us lose. Nobles use our tunnels if <laughs> Ow. Come here, big From boy. Me. Try this one. Ah, you son of a bitch. Nothing here out of interest. I think it's down below here. If they see these tunnels run deep, was the ultimate fleeing to a hideaway beneath Lincoln? Ah, he's held captive here. Under uh not within his wishes. <laughs> Come on. Huh? They will attack on sight here. More Mercians trapsing across our route. <laughs>
Bitch! way out. Looks like the ultimate passed this way. something I right hear I have received from an uh, unnamed sex and request safe passage through the sewers to bring work okay Okay, Lucian. A Saxon nobleman paid some bandits for permission to sneak through these tunnels on their way to Bolingbroke Castle. Mercian nobles made a deal with some bandits, paid them hush money to let them sneak through these caves. When the time came, the bandits ambushed the nobles. But it didn't end well for the bandits. In the struggle, the Elderman's cloak was torn off. But he got away and headed east for Bolingbroke Castle. That's my best lead. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Bowling broadcast. Can I use the yeah, I could use this thing now. Let's just run there. Well, not run there, ride there. I'm just gonna ah, quickly. Fresh air. Yes. Fresh air instead of fucking sewer. Damn it, snake. Let's go. Best not to draw attention here. Previously, so it should be open again. 
screw you, dude. Oh, he was just watching for the window. Well, whatever. We've killed those dudes. Let's just get on with I'm this. I'm on the right track. That keep is well protected. No doubt. Should be here. is his own prisoner. He's an ill man, leave him be. Besides, we ain't got it too rough. We can hunt in the walls of Lindsay and Hori. Die, you son of bitches! begin the washing hey who comes welcome stranger are you here to pay tribute to our Lord Elderman I heard voices as I entered. Were you speaking with him? Does his huga speak through you? I am not sure what to call it precisely. Words form in my mind, and I give them voice. Often they sound like my dear lord. Can I ask a favor of him? On behalf of his son, Hunvold? You could try, but he never speaks when others are present. Why has your elderman's death been obscured? The people of Lincolnshire deserve to know his fate, Hunvald, above all. When the guards put him in my care, I was told to keep all this a secret. Until the appointed time. When I asked who gave these orders, they struck me. I wish I could say more. I've seen all I need to, but Hunvald will need proof. Of course. You're welcome to search through his effects, though I'm not sure what trinket would best serve your purpose. I'll find something. Hmm. A box of musty clothing, and a brooch with a crest. The house of the ferocious swan. This will do. I'll return this brooch to Humboldt and Lincoln. I hope the poor boy can withstand such ill news. Dried herbs and berries, crushed into powder. The time between my lord's departure and his burial is... longer than usual. My lord must keep up appearances for his upcoming rites. I don't know what this is, and I'd rather not ask. Yes, I thought the same. Troubling. Just piss or something. Uh, regional tributes. Uh... Oh, there seems to be a way here.
Ah, go out, damn you! Oh. Hmm. I want to speak to her one more time. Foul rat droppings everywhere. Even in death, my lord is a friend to all of God's creatures. Take care. And you. I shall take you to your family crypt at Nettleham within Lincoln. There, you may lay beside your forebears. Oh well, we need to go. Um, let's go. We'll return the brooch to uh, Hunwald. Father's dead. Wait, what? The sigil of Humbiot's house. I found it near his body. No. No, this cannot be. He was strong, a pillar of Lincolnshire. He cannot be gone. He. he... <laughs> oh, you poor boy. I'm so, so sorry. I am a man, Archer. Do you hear me? I am a man and I am my father's son. Do not forget it! He's been dead for some time. That was obvious by the state of his corpse. One of you knows more than you're letting on. I'm sorry, Hunwald. I had already asked a priest to administer last rites when your father disappeared. What? I didn't tell you sooner because I... I thought by some miracle he had survived. You lied to me! You silly, sobbing mooncalf. Will you never grow up? Lord have mercy on that woman. She should have said something. It was her duty to say something. Hunwald was the son of an elderman. Will he take his father's seat? The title's not hereditary, but he can plead his case before a Shiremoot. King Cheowulf must then ratify the decision. Explain how this works, your Shire moot. Our moot is a meeting of lords. We convene from time to time to steer the course of our Shire. It was always my intention to convene a moot, but between our troubles in Lincoln and the bandits' raids, we slipped into a pattern of convenience. Someone in the Shire wants Hunbald dead. If I have to assemble an army to make sure this meeting is not an ambush, I will. The Shire Mood is a lawful, godly assembly. Unwild will be safe, as will you be. Apart from Hunwald, who else will stand for the ultimate seat? If I may be so bold, I should like to put my name forward. Under my care, this Shire has found some peace this past month. I will offer my name as well. My family has ancient ties to this land, and I am proud to say I have forged quite a friendship with the Danes to the north. Good. My priests will spread word of the moot across the Shire and will convene in a few days' time. Uh, do visit my estate, Eivor. I have something for you. Something I think you'll enjoy. I'll find the time. Eivor, a word if you don't mind. Is the word Christ or Pagan? Oh, 
I deeply regret my churlish ways when we first met. I did not treat you as my god commands, with kindness and love. Love is a difficult feeling to command. Yes, quite. In any case, thank you for putting this mystery to rest. I do hope we'll see you at the moot. I don't trust that guy. Unbeoth's death, an open secret. Unwald's enemies may strike again. I should find him before they do. Hmm. Well, welcome now in Lincoln, but I don't. As I was saying, I don't trust that priest at all. Neither do I trust that priestess and the dude anymore. I should follow her. So we have multiple quests now. Uh. So. Hmm. Speak to Acha. I should speak with her. Acha, where is Hunbold? I tried to console him, but he pushed me away. I love the boy, I do. But I fear what would happen if he took his father's title. He's fragile and scattered. I saw him ride north, following the paved Roman road. To the old tall tree where he often passed time with his father, I imagine. What devil put you up to all this deception? I wasn't put up, Eivor. I felt compelled to carry on for the good of the Shire. Until I knew the truth. A pretty answer for an ugly lie. Exactly. I don't trust you, bitch. What's going on? Now let's go after him. Poor lad. Tree is it? There's oh there. No. Here. Fun. These woods, father. Oh, these woods. <laughs> Eivor, what a pleasant surprise. Would you drink with me? Hunbold. Come, sit, sit. Stay with me a while and contemplate. Commentate. Contemplate the view. Collect yourself, Hunwald. There's many a man in Lincolnshire who would pay to see your head on a pike. Well, they can wait a moment. Do not gorge on grief, nor give in to sadness. But let your aching love light the mead of your eyes and lead you to triumph. That is quite lovely. My father would have liked you. He liked all those who could swing a sword and speak a verse with ease. He had a large heart and a love for his people. I think I would have liked him too. <laughs> He and I used to wander up this way all the time. He would take me hunting, and I would catch the most wretched little things if I caught anything at all. I was a rubbish hunter. <laughs> but he always said he was proud. 
each and every time. A toast. To your father, Lord Hunbeoth of Lincolnshire. He may have dwindled from this world in death, but in life he was as stalwart as this tree. The wise old oak. Yes. Skull. Skull. <laughs> and then, and then my father says, it's the right goat, but it's the wrong end. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, my Swanborough loves that one. <laughs> she has a great sense of humor, my lady love. Father would have liked her. Right, your Dane lady love. She sounds lovely. Too lovely to be real. You know what? We should. Visit her. We should go to Brimsky. Uh, gr Grimsby. Yes, yes, there's no time to lose. After you. <laughs> Nothing like drinking and riding to jostle your troubles away. And the contents of your gut. Now come and enjoy the splendor of my shire. You Saxons and your tiny splendor. You've never seen mountains, have you? Or deep fjords, like a giant's axe wound. Or towering falls that steam in the dead of winter. Snow sparkling like a blanket of jewels. That is splendor. Well, if your homeland is so splendor... ...full, why come to England at all? Ah, uh, you can't grow crops on a blanket of jewels. <laughs> Very true. I'll admit, your countryside does take the breath away. Quite so, quite so. I love this land. And should I follow my father's footsteps, I shall do my solemn duty to protect her. I know many think me foolish, inexperienced. But I would ask that they judge me by my future hopes, not my past reputation. If I am given sway over this land and show myself to be a poor leader, shame me, punish me, of course. But give me that chance. My God, I just want to have that chance. You shall have it. What was that? Birds, Eivor. Has no one told them today is a day of grief? Quiet. Stop here. Something isn't right. I'll find the trouble before it finds us. Those bastard ambushes. Well struck, Avor. That's twice they've tried to kill you, Hunwald. And twice failed. We had luck. But if you're not more careful, they will succeed. 
Someone in Mercia wants you dead. And they'll kill anyone in the way to see it done. Yes, including my dear Swanborough, my lady love. Come, let us hurry away. I'm serious, Hunvald. Are you hearing me? Plain and clear. Follow me. Hunvald, are you sure this place is safe? The safest spot in the Shire, yes. Here I am with a chance to be Elderman, but I have yet to prove myself worthy. To you, to the Shire, to her. I can do nothing without my darling lady. You've made me realize how much I've neglected her through this fatal stupor of mine. This I must see for myself. Get on the damn walls! There it is, I hope. Hmm. Interesting place. Ah yeah, here is where we have been. Dead. Why didn't you send word? It has been far too long, my little jewel. I'm so very sorry for that. I'm fine, my love. I wilted without you, but still I grow. And who is this? Ah, yes. I am proud to present Eivor of the Raven Clan. Hello, Eivor. A pleasure to meet you. And you, Swanborough. I wasn't sure what to make of Hunwald's stories, yet here you are. Surprised to find the Dane by his side? Not quite. I'm surprised to find the Saxon at yours. Hunwald seems to endear himself to all sorts. Eivor agreed to help me find my father. But I'm afraid it hasn't gone as well as I'd hoped. What's happened? My father is dead. Died of a cruel disease, apparently. ...then shunted off to a cellar for burial. Oh, my love, I'm sorry. And someone in your shire wants to make sure Hunwald follows his father to the grave. Let them try. I'll cut their throats. A shire mood will soon be held. Hunwald should stay here, out of sight, until he can attend. What if I left it all behind, my love? Forget my father's seat. What if I stayed here with you? Just the two of us. Hunwald, no. The Shire must be led with courage and heart. Follow in your father's footsteps and lead the Shire as he did. Rest, Hunwald. By sunrise you'll have shed all your tears and pissed out the last of the ale. Eivor is right, Hunwald. Tomorrow is a new day. Yes. Yes, resting next to my angel will heal all that is broken within me. Be well, Eivor, and thank you. He's the best. Keep watch over that one. Men have come for him more than once. My blade will keep him safe. I don't doubt it. So, solve for the fresh wound is done. And there's that lady, without a doubt, like, look at that. Thick lady. <laughs> uh.
<laughs> oh my god these developers what the fuck or my imaginations i don't know whatever let's just go we need to now um go to sane of lincoln speak to elgar get on my way lady no well shut up it's normal i'm calling my horse you dummy ass now we need to speak with this uh, Thane. He wants to climb up the ranks now as well, but I don't agree with that. You should still be loyal to the uh, dude because there's still some people right alive. I mean, I'm also sus uh, suspecting him because you know he is. I don't know. He's rather neutral. He speaks very less proudly about his family's um, ties to the land. Well, ties to the land. Let's just say services to the dude. And the priest does seem... I don't know. He's also looking me now, even though he was very rude and all that and kept secrets, but whatever. I don't know. We'll see. Let's just visit this dude. Sure. Eivor, I'm pleased you came. Sure, speak. Welcome to my estate, old friend. Thane Elfgard, it's an impressive amount of land you oversee. Quite right. I often get lost swimming to my island in this flowing sea of wheat. You said you had something to show me when we last spoke. What did you mean? Yes, I did. Observe. This fine specimen belonged to our beloved elderman Hunbeort before his untimely passing. He left it here when we last hunted together. I now wish you to have it. If this belonged to the Elderman, shouldn't it go to Hunwald next? I suppose so. But I thought you a more fitting recipient. You'd know how to use it. Now, now, take it and come hither. I have a rousing hunt planned for the two of us. Leave aside talk of politics and shiremouths. Let us enjoy the fruits of my land together. We're hunting or fruit picking? Both, if you like. Whatever you fancy. I'm generous with the yields of my estate, as you will see. To be plain, Eivor, a great bear has been badgering my estate for weeks. I must do away with it, if only to prevent a future tragedy. You brought me here to hunt a bear? Yes, and I'm so pleased you agreed to come. I suspect you know better than most that I have what it takes to lead this shire. Though its line of kings is all but ended, the people of this land still teems with life, with promise. But today, the shire languishes. It needs the guidance of new blood. Like me. I'm sorry? I'm the definition of new blood. It may be I should put my name in for Elderman. <laughs> ah, there it is, that dark sense of humor. Blunt as a hammer, eh? Like the one carried by your, uh, uh, your thunder god, uh, uh, I don't recall the name. Go on. What I mean to say is, I enjoy the company of your people. Or people like you, what little I've seen of them. And I don't care what stuffy fools like Herofriv and Bunwald say. You Danes are damned decent people. Not dense at all. Kind of you to notice. I remember when the Danes first arrived, not long ago. The locals were terrified. Are we hunting, Elfgard? Or is it your hope that I'll braid your hair? Hunting, definitely. The bear's lair should be nearby. Hmm. Ah, my old friend Grim. How wonderful to see you here. What a pleasant surprise. What surprise? I came as you requested. Ah, uh, yes, and how is Grimsby? How are all the other Danes? I can't speak for all Danes, but I am well, and itching for a hunt as you made plain in your message this morning. Yes, that's right, very good. Uh, speaking of Danes, I'd like to introduce you to Eivor. 
Uh, perhaps you know each other as one Dane to another. Don't be frightened, Grim, but I believe Elfgard has arranged for us to meet. Oh, goodness, I've been discovered. But it's nothing untoward, I promise. I'm an honest man, and I believe that all people should live together in harmony. That's all. Hey, Leivor, did he lure you here as well with the promise of a hunt? He... Yes, hunting a bear. That's the point of all this. We're hunting, I promise. I don't like There's this. There's a cave just up the hill there. Seems a likely place for a lair. If the beast is as large as Elfgard claims, it'll take all three of us to bring it down. I'm game. Let's get a new fur cloak, shall we? This... Let's what? see you, old friend. In this forest. If we don't find the bear, we'll find something worth our supper. I have a divine rule over the land on my estate. God shall provide. Have no worry. This is the threshold of the beast's home. There's no doubting that. Oh fuck, I don't even have arrows. Oh shit, that's not a bear. The wolves. Regroup with Grim. Soon to be a sea of fire. Eivor! You're skilled enough and I can't tell you how to handle this, but... Please! My god, help me with this! I'm in this fight with you! A clutch of puny Mercians don't frighten me! No doubt. Now let's go. I still believe that this dude has a trick upon his sleeve. They must get to safety! Someone waited until you were away to set your world aflame. I'll send them straight to hell! The marauding menace! Where's Alga? They're burning the food! Food's no food. The house is burning, Igor. Don't believe this. The men who would see you burn are dead. Let's get these fires out. Agreed. Hmm. What a mess. A sea of ashes. I thank you, Eivor, for doing what you could. You're a man of many riches, Alfgard. You can rebuild. To be sure. But I do not look forward to the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet Lord in heaven, the bear is returned. Lol. The Shire Mood will start soon. I should return to Lincoln to see that it goes well. Die.
Now we've taken care of this dude, but still, I don't trust this man. Um, here and here, there. Well, anyway, let's just call today over here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give it a like button and subscribe to my channel if you're new and you wish to support it. I do recommend something to get me together as possible as well. Just write down in the comments box below or jump at this call server so we can have a touch about it. Till then. I shall see you guys later.